Hi everyone, welcome to the QYOPS channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to uh, customize our, our installation, soft, uh, installation functionality of software, right? Uh, it's, for me, it's, uh, it's very important to know if I'm on my personal or on my work computer because I have different softwares uh, in, in, if I'm on my work computer and if I'm, I am on my personal one. Some of them are the same but I have different ones in, 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 in those computers as well. So my CLI knowing the fact that my CLI can know who, which computer I'm accessing it from is very important because it makes my life uh, transparent, right? And they also can help you if you have a teammate that would like a different functionality just for, for that person and the other ones they don't care, you can create say if I am on personal uh, if I'm being accessed by person Y, then uh, do this extra functionality or a different functionality. So so if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos and I'm going to post the links of the previous one so you can keep it up. All right, so let's start here. So we are going to, what we first need to do is we need to, we're going to change this, right? A little bit, right? So first I need to know how can I see who, which user I'm accessing to. So we have a command called users and that's how it's going to know who you are. So what we are going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to say users user is going to get the user. All right. And I'm going to also mark the target computer target computer as my personal at first and I'm going to log this. the user accessing is user, all right? And then what I'm going to do also, I'm going to come here and I need to validate, like I'm going to say if user is rafael.lima right so this is my work computer so rafael.lima my personal one is going to be half or just rafael or something different usually right uh the your work computer usually is different than your the user is different different than your personal computer so i'm going to say if i am on my personal computer, the target computer is going to be work. So now, like, a, it's going to right away say you are using your, your personal computer. Otherwise, it's going to use, uh, if you are using your uh, uh, user, your, your work computer is going to recognize that. Of course, I can do like a a leaf and try different users. I can do an else here, uh, but I'm going to leave as this right now. What I need to do is I need to have different libraries based on those computers, right? But first, let's validate this here. So I'm going to do uh, log the target computer is target computer. And now I'm going to do e bb repos install and I'm going to do debug. So user not found line 105 users. And I need to exit here because I don't want to the script to keep going. So this is the user accessing it. I validated with the wrong user, right? So my name was wrong. 
So now this is the, com the work computer. If I do user here and I send Rafa, for instance, or whatever else, this is going to be my personal computer, right? So now I need to tell how to install different uh, files based on the user, right? So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to actually refactor this and I'm going to call it uh, work, uh, personal. And I'm going to create another one called work. The same thing here, this is going to be personal and I'm going to duplicate it and make it work. On my personal here, I'm going to have a first, let's say Python. I need Python on my personal computer. I don't need Python on my work computer. And that's fine. The, here the same, like in my personal, I need Visual Studio Code and IntelliJ. On my work, I don't need Visual Studio, so I'm going to delete it. All right, so now how can I tell it what to do now? So we already have this to install a specific library. This is coming from here. I'm not going to change this because I want to dynamically, dynamically change this, right? So I'm, I'm going to leave as this and I'm going to say that this is going to be the target computer and here is going to be the target computer. I'm going to remove the exit code and now it should install based on my users. So let's say repo software work. So it, it recognized that I am on my work computer. Let's go with libs and see it install. It tried to install uh, where I am only the IntelliJ, right? On my libs, work library and it's starting right away from Gradle, right? So it's, it's starting right away from Gradle. It, it skipped Python. So let's now simulate that I am on my work, on my personal computer. So now it's my personal and it's trying Python now, right? So it's getting from another file. Uh, let's wait for to finish and now let's do the software. So, so now it's going to, my personal software is going to try Visual Studio and IntelliJ. All right, so we already have a nice way to do this. And you could like, a, this could be like a, a personal, like a, your, your teammate, he, he or she wants a, a different functionality just for that person and nobody else wants that. So it can just say, if you are that user, you can do this extra, <laughs> right? So, but what I don't like now is that this became too big. Like usually what I, I try to keep the case here just to interact with the user based on their choices, like not to do logic. So here I'm, I'm just like a based on what, what was sent, we do something, we do something, or we, we, we give them a message, say you missed this, you missed that or something like that, right? And here we, we are doing the same thing here, a little logic, but it's just basically deciding based on what the user is doing. But now we have more heavy logic here and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all of these and I'm going to move to a function called install dependencies, right? Let me ident uh, do the correct identification. And now I'm going to say choice because it needs to get a choice from the user, the user's choice. And this is going to come from the parameter one. And now I can say install the appendices. <coughs> Now let's test this out. Personal. Why was personal? Oh yeah, uses Hoffa. Personal. 
Ripple software, Ripple's libraries. And now the correct one, removing this, I get work. And I get library work and software's work. Great. So now this is much more clean. I don't have any, I just install dependencies. I don't care. This does not care about anything. Just you need to install it. And now we can definitely uh, have a, a separate place, right? Uh, I might at, at the future have these removed and put in, in a method that in a function that can be shared, like other places on my CLI might need to know who is the user accessing it uh, and, and do like a not who is the user, who the user is very simple, but like a, doing different things based on different users. So you might you might have that uh that logic of if this is used to do that if that user do the other thing in another place right because like as your team grow you're going to have uh the same username so you might want to have all the list of users in one single place and you return based on whoever is the user and what you need to do and, and whatnot right? so cool so that's it uh this, i'm very excited with this functionality because this I, I use that a lot in my in my personal uh, CLI. Right? So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. And I'm going to see you on my next video.